Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Civilization 4, a Star Trek mod. Last time, we have um, built a couple of star bases in an attempt to connect several colonies together. We now possess a total of 10 colonies, if I recall correctly. I've also, by mistake, skipped one extra turn uh, after I saved the last game, so I'm building a memory alpha on here, but that's no big deal. So. You, didn't, you guys didn't miss anything too vitally important, so it's all good. We have also met pretty much everybody else. I think that's all of them. We also uh, figured out that Shakar... Well, almost everybody is pissed off at him. Except us. And uh, let's see... Uh, oh, it turns out I'm BFFs with uh, Legend Damar. Our open borders and years of peace. Okay, cool. These two are BFFs for some reason, and these guys are also good. Years of Peace, Years of Peace, Years of Peace, oh... Yeah, I think this guy will um, tell me to uh, go to war against me first. You know what? I'm kind of tempted to start helping this guy. As much as I dislike Bajorans, I really think I'm going to try to help Shakar. First of all, against the friggin' Vidians, because, well, they're annoying. I dislike them, and yeah, they're generally evil. Yes, I know they were driven to this evil by necessity, but that doesn't change the fact that they're evil. Alright, let's see. Uh, Exocom Center. Um, I'm gonna build a construction ship. I want uh, star bases. Yes, we shall build one soon. Uh, what is the situation on this planet? One second. Um, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. One second, ladies and gentlemen. And... Right. Okay. Let's see, what's the situation here? Yeah, people seem okay. I'm gonna build a shipyard so that I can build ships faster here. Um, Exocom Center, Trading Station, Shipyard as well. It's only gonna take three turns. So Ultima Ufu and some other planet are building a... We love the Despot Day. Uh, I don't know what a Despot is. Shows you how much I know about politics and the English language. Um, so let me see... So we can see... You know what, you stay here for the time being. You, on the other hand, advanced deep space probe, okay, that's fine. Crystals, it's a luxury resource, so we're gonna build a starbase next to it. Alright, let's go. We have built a library on green. Well, let's get a transporter terminal, it's only gonna get, it take two turns, one turn, and this one's gonna take two turns. Um, I'm gonna build a shipyard here as well. Shipyard! Everybody gets a shipyard. Uh, Breen is celebrating my name. Isn't that magnificent? Um, <laughs> just for general security, I'm gonna put a star base here. Because nothing is connected to my capital. And look how influential it is. Look at how cultural we are as the Breen. Yeah, nobody knows a damn thing about the Breen, so I can say whatever the hell I want. Hey, we are cultural. But I mean, I imagine that Breen are cultural anyway. Ah, now I'm just spouting nonsense. Uh, let's see. Uh, you want an enhanced warp field? Hmm. Hmm. 
sorry, but no, we would like to make a trade proposal, let's see. You refuse to help us, worst enemy of Shakar as well. Uh, what if you give me 20 credits and then I give you the enhanced warp field? Yeah, okay, you're good with that, you're cool with that, okay, that's, that's good. Farewell. Ah, that's a transporter terminal. That sounds, for some reason, sounds like a, um, what's it? Like an airport. Training station. Excellent. Also, yeah, <laughs> sorry, Shakar, I kind of took that planet from you. But you know what? If it makes you feel any better, I'm not going to expand any further for now. And, uh, yeah, be fine. So you can uh, you can colonize whatever the hell you want afterwards. You know what? You know what? Fine, you can have it. I would like to make a trade proposal. Um, you give me ten credits, and I'll give you some star charts. Early game, they're really happy about star charts, and then later on, it becomes a little more difficult. Okay. We're starting to build military production because we don't trust the Vidians and we don't trust the or the Alliance. Let's see, we built a shipyard. What else do we want? Uh, yeah, let's get a monument. Let's get these people cultured. Yep, yeah, same thing. You get a planetary defense grid. See, you just built a habitation system. Oh yeah, because you're in my newest colony, I believe. Uh, let's get you a monument. We breed our cultured people. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's right, anti-ship missiles. Like, in my other game, as the Zindi, I just have these star bases all over the place and they're just loaded with missiles. It's ridiculous. Like, no enemy ship can fly by successfully. It's like, oh, is that an enemy fleet? Okay, here you go. Take out three of your ships. It's wonderful. It's it's absolutely fascinating. What's also fascinating is that you can actually use the technology of other species, but that depends on how you set up your game, and I don't think I set it up here, because as the Zindi in my other game, I was able, after conquering the Krenim, I was able to get their temporal weapon, and then I was able to also, um, oh, what's it, uh, after I conquered the, who did I conquer? Oh yeah, the Breen, I was able to build those Breen cruisers, and then when I conquered a system that was originally Romulan, I was able to build scimitars, and it's amazing. It's absolutely fascinating, it's, it really is a great thing. But I don't think I set it up in this game, so that's unfortunate. Let's see what we got. Uh, I'm gonna build you a laboratory because uh, we need research. Um, you get a replicator terminal. You get a hospital. We finished constructing a shipyard here. Oh god. <coughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mm, let's get a lab as well. We need science. Uh, we built a construction ship. Um, do we want a green cruiser? It's gonna take a bit too long. You know what? I'm not at war with anybody yet, so let's use all the time we can uh, get. Uh, yes. Okay, good. I think these will be connected relatively soon. But that's good. Now I just need them to connect to my home system. I think I can put a star base like here, like here. I, for, I, I keep forgetting you guys can't see my cursor because of how uh, my recording equipment is set up. I'll try to see what I can do about that. Or maybe nothing, I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, let us continue. We've built a green cruiser. Well, yeah, let's get a Starfleet Medical, why not? We built a Light 5. 
Uh, ooh, you don't have a nutrition facility? That's terrible. Uh, but first you're gonna get a shipyard. And you're gonna get a labor camp. Uh, yes, you guys stay here. You also stay here. Like, how come... Wait, hold on. You want me to zoom in on them again? I'll ask the question again. Come on. Hospital and Ultima Thu, that's always good. Oh, I build a library, why not? Uh, they want a bank. Sure. Now the question I have is like, look, how come whenever these ships spawn, they're already so like promoted? They got so many promotions. Does it have to do with the research that I have? Because the game that I'm playing, whenever I spawn, um, what's it? Whenever I spawn ships, whenever I build ships, they got nothing, unless I have something in that particular system. But Every single ship I have, for some reason, has all these promotions, specifically these ones, so I wonder what's up with that. Uh, let's see, we've built a Starfleet Medical here. We don't have a shipyard on Breen and we already can build ships really fast? Well, let's build a shipyard. Memory Alpha. Let's get a lab. And yeah. Let's keep it at that. <clears throat> we built a shipyard on Breen, that was quick. Um Yeah, Breen Cruiser. And you get a nutrition facility. Uh build a lab. Hmm. Monument, we need to expand the culture. Great scientist was born. You, great scientist, go to this place. Go to... Guiana. Because uh, that's where uh, Memory Alpha is, and apparently that's like some great scientific thing. Or maybe it isn't, I have no idea. But I assume it is. Uh, barracks in one turn. Barracks in two turns, sure. How are people doing here? Ooh. Yeah, you guys need some equivalent of a hospital or a recreational facility. Yeah, hospital, there we go. It's only gonna take two turns, so you'll be fine. Ooh, that... No, I had this one built already, didn't I? I think I did. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Look at the range of the bloody thing, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, but you want to sleep now. Hmm. We built a barracks. Yay. Brain cruising. Still takes forever. Um. Is there not a replicator terminal on here somewhere? Also, what does the speed of production of ships depend on, actually? Because I got no clue. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, you're absolutely getting a house. Uh, you already got a library. Mm. You got a lab. Okay, good. Green labor camp is built. Planetary defense grid. Let's go. Neral. Who's Neral? Is that the Romulan? Yeah, that's the Romulan. Hey. Okay. Oh, shit. This guy is now besties with this guy. And that's not good. Because if I go to war with this guy, that will piss off this guy. Well... You're no longer the worst enemy of Anorex, so... Or was he ever? Oh well. Well... Shit. Uh, build another one. Um... 
You also build one. Uh, you get a replicator terminal. Yeah, we've built a hospital there, so you get a replicator terminal. Oh yay, knowledge is power. Awesome. Ah. New promotion. Wow, look, look at this guy. God, this beast. Absolutely beastly. They'll just wreck everything that comes in contact with them. Now, uh, most important thing right now is to not piss off Anorax, otherwise he's gonna send a temporal weapon at us. And I know that thing is not indestructible, but what that thing... Is, like, that thing has 100 power. Like, how do you fight something like that? Answer with a lot of ships, obviously, but... How many are you gonna lose? Seriously, wow, it's just... Sometimes some things in this game are slightly OP. Like the fact that Zindi get a nuclear warhead pretty much at the start of any era, ever. I'm not kidding, by the way. Because that's their uh, racial special thing, is the Zindi super weapon is the one they used in Enterprise to attack Earth. And then it's either the prototype one or the one they built and deploy and want to destroy Earth. It's one of those things. And it's stupidly powerful. It's crazy. That's how I pissed off the Breen in the other game, because I kept nuking the Vaduar and they were besties. And uh, so yeah, then Breen attacked me. And I was on the defensive for a very long time until I built the uh, temporal weapon. Then I just steamrolled over them. I built a lab in Ultima Thule. Um, Orbital base. Nutrition facility on Valeria. Well, that's good. It's always good to build a lab here as well. Um... What do we want to build? Well, we got a bank almost done, so... Well, there's that. The borders of Portas have expanded. I don't remember which one is Portas. Another green cruiser. You get a barracks. Yep. These guys are gonna be my battle fleet. So if anybody attacks me... Or Bajor, I suppose. I'll wreck him. How many systems does Bajor have, I wonder? Like, is it only two or three? Because if so, then he's boned. <laughs> the Vidians are a pain in the ass. And then you got, like, a Damar against him as well. Uh, yeah, build another green cruiser. You'll get a bank. Orbital base on Ultima Thule. Which is basically a repair station. I think. Eh, replicator. Barracks, always good. Expand your culture with the Prophet's Museum. You're nearby Bajor, so I'll allow it. Ah, uh, yes. Let's get a bank here. The borders of Rotana have expanded. Oh, nice. Yeah, all I need is a star base here and here. And then, uh, like, everything is connected. Well, here and here. There. <laughs> Um, let me see. What do I have with you? Care to negotiate? I don't want to open borders with Romulus just yet, but what will you give me for a crate of Duranium? Crate is per turn. Fair enough. Yep, that works. Uh, I've completed building a green cruiser. 
on green. You know what? Let's get let's give them a break. Build a nutrition facility, so they can actually get food for what they're building. Um, do I want a profits museum here? Yeah, why not? It will please the people there and prevent them from revolting, and will actually encourage them to work. Uh, trading station. Yeah, why not? All right. And uh, that's about all the time I have for now. So uh, let's have a quick recap. We got a great person on the move here, um, wherever they are. Hopefully, still alive. Yeah, Spock, great scientist. Oh, I didn't even read what his name was. So yeah, apparently Spock is a breed. Um, interesting. <laughs> We're building one hell of a fleet here. And it's one hell of a fleet because it's got all the crazy promotions going on. And we are expanding our culture, but we're not taking any more colonies. We also decided that we may be willing to help Bejor because of how... How in the shit they are, basically. Because Shakar... Shakar pretty much... He pissed off Lagad Damaran, he pissed off Regent Wharf, and he pissed off Sulan. And, uh, well, two of them are allies. And although he is now good allies with Anorax, Anorax is also a friend of Swan. Damn it. This is going to be a very interesting game. Especially if war starts. We're gonna, I'm going to wonder how many enemies am I going to have to be fighting at once. Uh, as always, like and favorite. Subscribe if you liked any of this. If you didn't, then by all means don't. It's entirely up to, uh, up to you. I can't tell you what to do. Uh, and as always, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.